What's up, Panthers Nation? We're back today with another video. Keep pounding! So today, we're talking about the rumors of Cam being traded in March. It's been going around the social media. It's been going around... Oh, wait. Unofficial sources. No one's actually confirmed it yet. No one's confirmed it. You know, you look on the official pages. Of course, the website's a bit delayed. The official website... So you won't see that news until the next day, most likely, if it comes out. Um, you know, but you'll see it immediately on Twitter. You'll see it immediately on Instagram if that news is official. And potentially on their YouTube channel that day as well. Uh, I've seen about a half dozen pages, unofficial ones, throwing out that rumor. And... I'm not going to say it's a bad thing at this point. Uh, first, I want to address something. About a month and a half ago, I put out a video uh, with my trade suggestion for Cam Newton and two of our offensive linemen. I will link that video in the description below. You can check that out. You can decide what you want to have an opinion on as far as that goes uh, whether you like it dislike it impartial to it what do you want you know but that'll that link will be in the description below that's in a video I've already previously put out on the, on the channel um, that suggestion does not change based on the current situation uh, in 2020, after Luke's retirement, after everything that's gone on, that suggestion still does not change. So, the thing is, we don't want to promote unofficial sources here. And I'm seeing it on all of the fan pages, I'm seeing it everywhere. We don't want to promote uh, unofficial sources on the pages that's really not healthy because I've seen so many false rumors and everything else that you know here's the thing if the Panthers management doesn't want you to know what they're planning on doing they're not going to release that news on any official source. And again those official sources are. YouTube. Twitter. Facebook. Instagram. If they have not put out those. Any information on those four sources alone. Then you check out the Charlotte Observer. Charlotte Observer is. Mostly right about 85% of the time. As far as I'm concerned, I, from what I've seen, they they have inside sources within Panthers uh, franchise and locker room and stuff like that. So they'll probably be the first to tell you if the social media team doesn't do it first themselves. So I'm sure there's some kind of rules and regulations as far as that goes, but. You know, always check official sources first. Do not, and I repeat, do not take the word of these unofficial sources until you know from the official sources that it's true. You know, ESPN included in that. ESPN has generally been trustworthy as well. Now, You're looking at a 2020 with Joe Burrow as our new coach, offensive coordinator. And I've heard rumors about a quarterback coach. I've heard rumors about a few things. Nothing confirmed yet. But we did officially sign Joe Burrow. 
So that is official. I'm going to wait until all of the, the staff is filled out, and then I'm going to go through them one by one. Uh, their back history, every anything I can dig up that I can throw into the video, I will, that I think is relevant, that hasn't already been thrown out there already by uh, other people that are reacting to this news. So, that being said, I still support this idea of Trump can being traded uh it makes financial sense it makes business sense it makes health sense it makes all kinds of sense all right across the board and if you're still a cam supporter and you want to see him uh behind that old line in 2020 where we're not going anywhere we're likely to get four wins at most maybe five the only thing i can think is you're seeing through through uh, Panthers color glasses here because you know football isn't just about loyalty folks there's a business part of it too you have to look at both sides and that's what Gettleman was not able to do he only saw the business side of it Jerry Richardson only saw the loyalty side you need a healthy balance of both to be able to work and successfully run a franchise that will win and will play with heart and motivation and want to win for you. Um, I, I just don't see how Cam would fit in in 2020. With our line being in shambles, you know, I'm not going to say we need to retool the whole thing. I still see a few players that I think that we should re keep on board. Uh, Trey Turner being one. Um, th there's a couple. Um, I'm still looking at this roster right now, and I'm still really going through my notes, going through some old videos, just seeing what, what we have. And that's been a good chunk of an hour every day just going through this stuff. Uh, I've been busy, folks. I've been busy. Don't, don't think I haven't forgotten about this channel because I haven't. I've still got some more videos planned. I just got through recording some yesterday. So one of those should be going up. Uh, today being the defense, the defensive video, that should be going up, uh, as of today, when I'm recording this on, what is it, Wednesday or Thursday? I don't know, but it should be going up. By the time you see this video, it should be up. Um, I've got three more in the waiting. So, be prepared, folks. This channel is not going away in the offseason. We're, we're staying strong. We're going to be putting out some videos at least one a week. Expect that. Depending on the news that we get, especially with the rebuilding process, you should expect like tw two videos a week. So, I don't want to overwork myself with all the other projects I've got going on, but I'm going to at least get two videos out a week. That's my, that's my goal for you guys. Now, if I don't meet that, that's not because of me, really. It's because of the lack of information and what's going on in the offseason, because there, there are a few quiet months in the offseason. So, keep that in mind. Keep in mind, there are a few weeks where there's nothing going on at all. So, you know, it's off-season. What do you expect, right? We had the same thing last year. But uh, I want to welcome all the new subscribers, all the new viewers, all the new people that are hanging out and supporting Panther Nation here in the Keep Pounding channel. Welcome. 
I hope you guys enjoy the content from this year and the content I'm planning on putting out. And I hope you stick around. You know, if you're new here, you already know what to do. Check the description. You know what to do. Leave a comment if you feel like it. Um, but I want to know in the comment section for this video, what do you think about my, uh, my Cam Newton trade suggestion, which is Cam Newton and two offensive linemen, which will be Darrell Williams and Greg Red Roten, uh, for a 2020 pick for the two linemen and a 2021 pick for Cam Newton. Let me know what you think. And also, what would you suggest doing? What quarterback would you suggest we get? I want to hear your suggestions down below, whether that quarterback be in the 2020 draft or the 2021 draft. Let me know, folks. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. As always, keep pounding!